Dunfermline once again, Dunfermline taking on Dundee United in the Scottish Championship. As we all know, the Dunfermline record against Dundee United in general isn't the prettiest, but on the opening day of this season, Dunfermline finally got their first win against United since 2011. However, at East End Park, the Pars haven't beaten the Tannadice outfit since 2007, so there's still a hoodoo to be destroyed yet. Dundee United have changed managers since the last time these sides met, swapping Shabba Laszlo for Robbie Nielsen. Meanwhile, Dunfermline fans have begun to get frustrated with their manager Alan Johnson, with pressure mounting week upon week from the stands. It will be interesting to see how the teams shape up now in comparison to just a few months ago. Bring on the action! As most of you would have seen, Ronaldo got a fantastic reception coming back to Old Trafford midweek. So I think it's only right that I do the same for players that are coming back to us this weekend. Well, what do you think? Ooh, you're hard showing off. Boss, <coughs> boss, 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 boss. Well, a few changes to line up. Obviously, Mark Dunman is now injured, but we've got Brian Williamson looking like he's in the right wing. Don't know if Craig and him will swap a bit, but and he's dropped players like Mallory Martin and Andy Ryan in favour of Hippolyte and Bedlam. So let's we'll see how it goes. Fraser in the starting lineup for them, and Nicholas Clark on the bench. Get it up, you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your teams for this afternoon: the Athletic and the United. Let's hear it for the black and white. Come on, you pops! Go on, go on! Oh! Oh no! Who's gonna hit the shim? A point? Or Pfizer? It's good, I got hit for this range. <laughs> Referee, if this goes on. Oh! Boom! Shite decision, ref! Piss off, ref, man! Shite decision! That's on the ref, man. Well, for the United, number seven, Paul McMillan. I feel like we believe that that was a free kick at all. How Paul McMillan's got a head on the box, though, I don't know. But I'm going to freak out in the first place. We kind of the end of the set pieces. No set piece, what will we do this time? Keep it hard though. Oh, set piece 50. Pass. Get it up! Hell, Ryan Callum Booth's not a fucking tricky player. Get up, man. What the hell? The guys went down like a sack of tatties at nothing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's it, that's it. That's it. Hang your back, Stutson! Just go, man! Get us up, Sir Johnson! 
second week in a row of Johnson gets a f chance. Still not get my gift this week, have I? Oh, that's us. That's that's us in a nutshell. Really. What's that? What's that? Second week in a row, chucking on Joe Thompson as the last sub. Hell! Here we go. We Paul for the double. Roy Mistake! He actually put it so far wide. Oh, what a horrendous penalty. Come on! Holy Christ! Nice shot on target there. Go on, Andy. Oh! Well, another game and yet another garbage performance at home. And for all that my wee joke at the start was meant to be a bit funny, ha ha ha. Within a matter of hours, it was such a pointless joke. And... Fraser Aird, Nicky Clark, and Paul McMillan, who actually forgot was coming back, left with smiles on their faces. See picture here. Ah, oh, man. Seriously, we just were so poor, and it's indicative of just everything that's going on at the film, you know. The fans can't kind of stand it, and I just don't know how long we're going to have to put up with it for, because it just seems like it's just inevitable that we'll just be here until Christmas at least and we'll still have the same manager. I just don't know if the board have it in them to get rid of the guy and I don't know if we've even got the funds. I don't know the story at all but it just seems like it's a never ending cycle at the moment. We're playing horrendous football, the fans are hating it and there's nothing seeming to be changing, nothing seeming to be going on, there's no statements from the board saying that they're backing the manager. Even something like that would at least give a bit of clarity to what they think, but no one's really coming in and saying anything about that. And it's just garbage to watch the team. I'm so glad that I'm not going up to Inverness on Tuesday, and I hate saying that about my own team, but I'm just... I just can't be bothered, like... And I've got no way of getting up anyway, but... Imagine going and sitting up in Inverness watching that, then who? Like, oh... We need a change, and I'm going to keep saying it now because... I just don't see how we get out of this rut, especially under this current manager. And that's it for this video guys, yet another cheery week in the Dunfermline life, but of course, comment down below whatever you thought about the game, subscribe for more of this type of content, and drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And until the next video, which will be the last word tomorrow, which I'm absolutely looking forward to because I need to talk about Dunfermline again. I'll see you later guys.